Hi, over the last few months, majority of us have been upskilling and a lot of us have taught ourselves some new skills. However, each one of us also has a super skill. Now, when we look at that, whether we work in elite environments in sport or business, often that skill is the individual signature. And what I want to look at is, is how we can not forget those super skills and how important that is to the overall makeup of the teams that we work in. If you think of late, how many apps do you add to your phone or your computer? How often do you grab the essence of that app first time? Often it's someone who's had it a little bit longer, a friend, a colleague. It could even be one of your children who's got that app. They show you how to use it. You will feel a lack of confidence and competence at first, but after a while, you develop that competence back. So we never really, really lose that. So what I'm keen to do is understand within our teams who has those skills, who has that signature skill or super skill. And quite often, we don't know who they are, or we know people have skills, but we have no record of it. So what I would like to do is um, how much do we know about those individuals? Who has it? Okay, how far can we take those skills so we can develop super skills? And are they transferable to others? So can we upskill each other from within that group? And that's something I call Team IQ. And I'd like to explore that a little bit more. And it's something that I think is a big factor in this modern age that we can do face to face or online. So those super skills as part of the team and how do they make up the team IQ?